Well, when we first uh, seen Rowan, it was actually on the website. I had her picture up there, and, and I was like, Rowan. And my husband's name was Jimmy Lynn, so I was like, Rowan, that works out good. And she's just, you could tell in her little picture that she was a, a spitfire. Um, well, we have um, been married for 22 years, and we had did in vitro twice, and it just didn't work out. So we decided, you know, we're getting older and we're, we're time, you know, doing a lot of things that we wanted to already get done. So we decided to adopt. We talked about a year about doing adoption, and then uh, we tried with the county and all that, and we just couldn't get the ball rolling with them. Just go ahead and get started on it. So we contacted CHS and within two days I had a call back and we were already getting signed up for classes. It seemed like the timing was just right. So it seemed like, you know, we finally, we've been talking about it for years and and then CHS has felt right and everything just started rolling really quickly. So it's like, it was basically meant to be. <laughs> I think when you, when you take the classes, definitely, the classes definitely help, they 100% help. Um, but I don't think it prepared me for, um, even though I was expecting, you know, none of the kids have trauma. Um, I don't think I was expecting or at least prepared to realize how bad the trauma could be. She, she'd been through so much for such a short little time that she'd been in this world. She had been through a lot. Over the two years she had been with three other people. Um, so she was nervous for, when she got here, because she was afraid that she was going to go again. So she, every time we would go to the store, she didn't want to leave. Um, when we did go somewhere, she didn't want to get out. She And when she did go with us, she would pack everything up. So she would pack her toys and she would pack her bag for her clothes. And that really hurt for a long time because she was just so afraid that she was going to be, you know, sent somewhere else. Every day when she was here, you know, we constantly reassure her, you know, you're not going anywhere. We're in this for the long run, too. Um, and she just, you could see each day it would just chip away and chip away. And she would, she would get a little bit more livelier and a little bit more, you know, open. If we were needing anything, I would send an email or a text or call. They were right there. They, even though it was COVID and they were working virtually as well, they still met us at their, their office when we needed anything or needed to sign something. And it didn't matter any time of day or night. It was it was instant. We got the word that it was settled, it was done. The, the judge and all signed off on it. Everything was over with. So we come home and told her and you could just see the weight mm -hmm. just live. We told her, well, so we got something to tell you. You can see her face just drop, so she thought, you know, uh-oh, here, here go. But we told her everything was done, and she's final. And adoption's final. She's not going anywhere. And she literally just started crying, and her little shoulders just lifted up where she was, you know, so excited. And we went out to eat and celebrated. And, and then she told me, she's like, you know, I have a home now. So I keep saying it, but I just really feel it. It's all, it was all meant to be. She is definitely wide open. She is, <laughs> she's, she's definitely a character. She's very playful and um, she's funny. She's constantly coming up with something. We love going traveling and different things. Um, but at least every other weekend we were out doing something outside and you know riding her bike. She's definitely eccentric. She has her own sense of style. She'll wear all kinds of crazy outfits. She's just a basically a goofball now you know she's just full of life and we have a good time going out and doing stuff chs is definitely a great great organization they were awesome to work with they are there for you and truly are there for the kids yeah they are ready they want to help these kids they jump out there and let's do it and they get the ball on the roll and you get started and just hold on from there. Our, our life now is complete. Um, she is our family, and that we didn't have a family really before. So now I feel we're definitely a true family.